topic, social distancing. Hmm, so what is social distancing? It's deliberately increasing physical space between people to avoid getting sick. They may stay home and avoid close contact with other people. So this made us wonder, do animals practice social distancing too? To learn about social distancing in animals, we looked up research done by a famous primatologist, Jane Goodall. Primatologists study the 300 plus species of primates like lemurs, tarsiers, monkeys, apes, and more. Jane lived among the chimpanzees in Africa. Over time, the chimps began to trust and accept her. We learned so much about these animals because of her dedication and research. Chimpanzees are great apes living in the tropical forest, lowlands, and mountainous forests in West and Central Africa. They're omnivores, meaning they eat meat and especially fruit. And they're very smart. They know how to communicate over 30 different vocalizations. Jane learned a lot about the social interactions of chimpanzees. In her book, In the Shadow of Man, she references a chimp named McGregor who is sick from a virus. Goodall describes, McGregor approached the chimps grooming in a tree, starved of social contact. He reached out a hand in greeting, but the others moved away without a backward glance. Chimps are not the only ones that practice social distancing. Mice can sense illness in other mice. Tadpoles can sense illness too. But for many creatures, social distancing is difficult because they love to hang out in a group. Quick, can you think of a social animal? You know, Animals that hang out in herds, pods, groups, or a pack? There are so many animals you can name, like penguins, dolphins, Elephants, ants, and meerkats. The list could go on and on. Wolves, gorillas, killer whales, bees, zebras. But what about the animals that like being alone? So we looked up which animals wouldn't mind living on a deserted island all by themselves. Can you think of some? We discovered bears, Aquatic animals like lionfish, frogs, and sea turtles. Weasels, wolverines, honey badgers, and skunks all like to be alone. As well as animals that like to be in the trees, like koalas and sloths. Or some ground animals like armadillos, the giant anteater, Tasmanian devil. Or some big animals like the black rhino. Most solitary animals like being alone because they're territorial, meaning they're protecting an area that they live in. Maybe they're protecting a food source, a nesting site, or they have a really good spot picked out. We know social distancing is new for us, but it's for the safety of the community. It's an opportunity to try new hobbies, spend time with the family, or journal how you feel. Remember, the best thing you can do is to please stay home.
but be sure to head outside, enjoy nature, get some fresh air, but remember to practice social distancing. Draw one of your favorite solitary animals. Which one are you like? Write about how you think McGregor the chimpanzee felt from social distancing. Did the troop of chimpanzees do the right thing? Why or why not? Anything else on your mind? Draw it or type it out. 